it, it is a bit, it's a bit cheap of me to do it on the table than you have to do it on the floor. So I'll, I'm happy to do it on the floor. So it's okay. So can I have a volunteer here, please? Uh, feet up this end. I don't know. Have I done you before? That's what she said. I'm just quoting. Do you need something under your head? Oh. You don't mind. I went out for dinner last night with my Melbourne friend and we had to have blankies because it was a bit cold. Felt like a nana. All right, so um, same partner again today so that, again, you can quietly, quickly but thoroughly check in in standing with all the things. So remember the weight shift, the, so the looking, the looking first, then the weight shift, this business, uh, et cetera. Do it again because it might have changed. Who thinks that they've changed again? Yes, yeah, so you're all as labile as me. Yeah. No. Is that again Edward? Oh, I thought you were talking about my son who is not quite that skinny. Uh, don't let him hear that. Uh, okay, so let's say that I've I have gone through all that with Anna and had a look, and then I'm looking now, and I've looked from the bottom, and I've looked from the top. Um, now, if I was only going to look at one thing, I'd say from here, I'd say mm, I reckon Anna's left leg might be her standing leg. You can tell me, am I right or am I wrong? It's a, not a party trick. I've got a 50-50 chance, you know. It's like, you know, I'm, none of you looked impressed anyway. But if you were going to be impressed, don't be impressed. Um, what more clues? Because uh, I'm sitting here and she's just more, this leg is straighter. It's got slightly more tone, which is not always true. And her head is just more over this way. That's it. It's a standing leg. That one. That's her left leg, isn't it? Yeah. No, yeah, the, whole, the head is more here than there. You don't have to. I could be making it up. Okay. So now to, to test that, well, yesterday you simply pushed through the foot. Simply. Today we're going to get a little bit more refined and we're going to, we're committed, let's say the left leg is, we think it's possibly the standing leg, which therefore means the right leg is the kicking leg, the stepping leg. Yes? So how would we, how would we think about that then? So if the standing leg is more likely to be the one that feels more aligned underneath her when we're pushing through it, Something simple that would tell us the, the, stand, the jiggly leg or the um, kicking leg is how loose it is if the other one is. So I'm just going to find this. Actually, could we get Edward down lying next to Anna? I think they've been formally introduced. They can sh share the floor together. Yes, yeah, that's right. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. He's legless, yeah. Find the top of his hip joint. Ha, ha, ha. It's a joke because that's the ATM. Standing on the top of your hip joint. Would you, you mind articulating him? Ah. Oh. Yeah. So the bone uh, and the notch are either side of that little notch. Thank you very much. Okay. That's very lazy of me, isn't it? Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. <laughs> they're not is that what you think they're like no. yeah your body image is fantasy land all right so here and the tibia there's this nice little place here can you just see how nice and snugly my thumb and my finger fit on either side of that little tibial notch there tibial plateau there 
So if this guy is here, can I just run this? Like, yeah, so it's like that. So both sides. Okay, so it's, it's I just snug there. All right, but it's, you, you won't snug as much from on above as from below. So you, it's, this is something we have to do with need a partner. So with Anna, here I am, and I'm just there, and I'm seeing whether she wants to rotate or not. Not particularly interested. A little bit more. Now, again, you have to know this is my right hand. This is my left hand. But my right hand is, tends to be stronger. So if I calibrate for what I know about myself, I would say that's a little bit jigglier. But neither of them are particularly jiggly. Now, there's a reason, one of the reasons why she might not be particularly jiggly. Jiggly is a technical word from Larry Goldfarb is that her legs are quite wide apart. And when they're wide apart, it's like having a wide stance. You're quite stable. You're outside, you're kind of more outside in your hip joints. So she, I have been a manipulative there. That wasn't a question. That was an instruction, bring your legs together. I just did it. Uh, then I'll try here. Um, the fact that it, whether it is jiggling or not is my first question the leg so then I, the, the first question is is it jiggling or not and then if it is jiggling a bit what is jiggling so if it is all jiggling lower leg like here which is what she's doing more is jiggling and from here down then then I, the, I've got the answer to my question what is jiggling whereas this guy when I jiggle there's very little jiggle at the knee joint it's all jiggle up in the hip joint Yeah. All right. So, you know, nervous systems make a difference, don't they? And soft tissue. They make, but, you know, we can still play around with only being a skeleton. So that's the way it is. And I could force it. I mean, I can pick her up and I mean, she can jiggle. It's not like she's stiff. She's not actually stiff. But there is this, how much, how much effort would I need you know, I don't. It's, it's more effort than I'm prepared to do with my just my fingers. Now you could you could, in, out of interest, jiggle from up here. I actually do often, but we're going to just jiggle from here. Now, what you don't want to do is fake the jiggle by just sliding. I'm being ridiculous there, but you know, I could just slide my skin over. That's how does that feel? Gross. Well, I don't like doing it. I'm just sliding her skin over a bone. So does it look like I'm jiggling her? No, you're all too good. Um, so I've, I'm on her bone and I'm kind of picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up. All right. So let's say slightly jigglier this side. She's not a, she's not a jiggler. She's solid connected. She, but she can jiggle. So when I'm, when I'm saying this, um, if you choose to hear it as a judgment, as a negative judgment, I'm sorry, and it's not. I'm just, it's just what it is. You know, jiggling is neither, it's like one standing, one's jiggling, whatever. Um, so, okay, so with the standing, what, the leg that you think is more the standing leg, let's come back to this idea of yesterday um, and lift it up, pick up the leg a little bit and take it a little bit in and a little bit out. So I'm really clarifying the hip joint for I'm finding out where, where does it feel kind of easy? Now, she prefers to be out here, but when she gets out, oh, the gorgeous thing in your ankle, got a fan, fantastic little musical number happening in the ankle. But anyway, so I'm just gonna, I've just put her foot in more E version, more twisted out so that I don't have to deal with that noise because I'm not musical. Um, so, but when she gets there, she really wants to do that. So I want to keep her somewhere where her leg looks more like it's a standing leg. And where it and this is where it gets very quality, where I feel like there's more of a connection that means that this is a standing leg. And for some people it's quite a way inland. And actually it feels a little bit like if I turn her leg around itself a bit, 
it's sort of there. So she wants to be there, but for us, oh God, the ankle. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Uh, I want to be there. Now, actually, most, when, when we're standing on our leg, mostly our knees are pointing forward, apart from blokes, but, you know, um, who like to stand with their knees pointing out. Uh, and mostly, mostly our feet are slight, relatively flat, our arch is flatter. Okay, so I will do that. Even I'll go, I'm doing it with Anna anyway because she's. I get a clunk. I can't make it clunk now, but I'm going to twist her ankle that way a bit. Do you all see the which way I'm doing it? I'll show on this guy. It's here and it's that way rather than it's not inward like that. Like he's going to pray with his feet. It's that way. So his arch flattens, and then I'm here, and I'm going to find where it gets snuggy, snugly sort of in there. And then I'm going to push there, right? But her, and her foot is more in standing now. Like yesterday we went too fast and it was sort of down a bit. This time I'm going to make sure that I've got her foot in standing and I'm going to find where. So you can see how I'm out here, the hip joint is sort of where it is. Coming in here, I'm getting more, if I push, it's more on the roof of the acetabulum, the socket. Whereas if I push from here, it's more towards the inside of the socket. So I really want to feel like snuggle up into that roof there. The roof. Not the not the inland, the sort of top surface, the ceiling of it. Okay. So now Anna uh, is not I mean her knee is nice in that it's not flopping down like you pick up my knee well actually I haven't picked up my knee for a long time my knee would have used to flop down so for you know her, my heel would be a good couple of centimeters off the floor and the back of my knee would be touching that's not a nice feeling some of you felt that yesterday if that's happening put a little bit of something under somebody's knee um is that okay for you in the back of your knee so I've gone a bit left and right and find there I think is snug now I'm going to feel a little bit up and a little bit down. And now notice I've, ha I've got actually quite a bit of pressure on because I'm, I'm actually wanting to snuggle up into there. So you can come off a bit, but you can see that, I, you know, I had a, I was really in, in a, into a hip joint. So where does it feel a bit snuggy? And then where does it, here I feel mm, losing, coming down. I don't think that's where she stands. I think, I think there I'm really getting the roof of her acetabulum, her, her hip socket. Okay. So I've checked a little bit in, out, up and down and around. So that's three degrees of freedom in the hip joint and found where I think is possibly her standing leg. And now I'm, there were all questions. Where does it feel snugly? And then this is a bit of a comment. Oh, I think here's where you stand. I'm going to show you that. Let's just see if that's a possibility or not. It doesn't I don't need you to answer. You can tell me if you don't like it. Okay. So get a, have a little bit of a towel. I'm just going to sta stare around like a passive person. Um, and once you've got the kind of height, put something under her knee so that she can, a little bit of her weight is on her knee. Now, do you have to have your other leg up? Because that's going to make a big difference. If you have to, you have to. But if you don't have to, okay, is so that better on your knee? It means her pelvis will move really differently. And actually, because her pelvis will tip back, I'll be, now, I'll be now more towards the front of the socket because her pelvis is tipped back. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Yeah, all those reasons. So that's all I'm going to do and then return journey and then back down. So I'm just going to feel that. If you don't feel anything, it doesn't matter. It's the first time. Um, either way, you're thinking, you're pushing here and your thinking is up at least up to there. But because you've got this direct line of sight... And then you let her lie down for a bit, let her lie there for a bit and contemplate this, this notion that, oh, yeah, I know that that's my standing leg or not. That's the potential. Or 
It might be, oh, uh, God knows, I have no idea. Now, let's say this is the jiggly leg. I'm going to make, I'm going to practice being a little bit jiggly. So, settle in comfort wise because you're not now going to. So, this is a sort of a, a mini um, FI template, if you like. I've, we've explored this idea of standing here, not so much here, standing here, not so much here, standing here, not so much here, standing here, more here. Are you uncomfortable? No. Okay. So, with this jiggly leg, uh, there's, there's a whole lot of things that I can do, but basically I'm saying, okay, he's exploring standing on this leg. That's her pattern. And now we're going to explore jiggling or gesturing or kicking or whatever on this leg. So that then means there's a whole bunch of things we could do. Um, let's think of one simple thing. Uh, let's do this. Okay, so there's this side. This is a little bit technical. Um, but you can actually pick up this leg and just see. Just feel, just feel where it goes. I'm not pushing now. I'm just feeling where it goes. And so that's a different experience, isn't it? If I'm not pushing into it, all I'm doing is feeling left and right, up and down. So in a way, that's kind of ref that's showing it's jiggly because it's then the message there is, oh, look how free this is here. It's a very different kind of um, notice this. Here it's notice where, notice where the weight's going up into the hip joint. If I don't compress, then this is just a free thing. So you can do, feel the difference there. Do you like, that's not very nice on your knee either? Or is that okay, the lifting up? The, the knee hanging. Yeah, do you know what? It doesn't matter because I'm not going to do it again. Um, okay. Is it, this going to be Okay. Okay, so now I want to see this, the turning around itself. Um, and there's a reason why I'm starting from the foot on this side. Now, I do have to pick up the foot. If you'll notice, if you have the foot down like this and you turn, oh, she'll do it anyway. If you pick up the foot more in a standing position, it's a better lever to turn the hip in the hip joint. Try, just try it. Um, and because she's nicely connected, I can I can turn her hip from the foot. If you can't, and there are people that you can't because they've got such sloppy ankles, then you might need to do this from here or you could come in underneath here and do it from here. We're going to explore the internal rotation, but I'm not compressing now. Um, and explore, then explore the outside rotation. And I'm going as far as she wants to go. And then I'm, this is where it, you might, then you need to try that, how much you can externally rotate where she, out here. Because remember, she liked being more outwardly rotated out here. And I'm working fairly fast because I am feeling where. I could and she really doesn't want to do what I've got in mind and I'm not going to force it so then I need to do so what I want to do is what this leg actually probably look no oh. <laughs> did you have a big roller yeah um, I didn't want a big roller because I wanted to feel like she's in standing. So let's not do it with a roller. Let me make these suggestions to her from up here. So if there is something happening in her knee, then I can come from here and give her this idea of her hip frogging out there. The hip frogging out, frogging, frogging, croak, frog, frog, grip it, grip it. So I am... I'll make sure on the back of her fibula here and giving her the sense of rolling in. And she's much more happy about her hip rolling when it's not through her foot. Her hip rolling? 
and where I'm going is there. That frogging. That's frogging. It's a technical word. So now when you come back, well, pull, when I lengthen her leg, she'll drop back down into extension. So just go slowly. And then the movement is that. That's what I was after before, but she wasn't ready to do it from her foot then. Okay. Now come back slowly. So she gets the feeling of that. Now, next time she goes out, so it's the, it's the toes coming down and twisting and going up, if that makes sense. You'll feel it on each other or not. And if it doesn't work from the foot, do it like I did from up here. Now, when she's here, this is, this is a gesturing leg kind of thing, isn't it? It's like looking for stepping or kicking. And then you can differentiate a little bit more by just rolling the foot from the little toe to the back of the heel, uh, to the side, yeah, to the back of the heel. And for her, it's quite a big movement. It might not be such a big movement with other people. Is that okay for your hip to be open? Yeah. So I'm just reinforcing how mobile and differentiated this jiggly leg is. I'm giving her this. And so then, so she's getting some rotation in the ankle. Well, it's actually a sort of a combination of, it's actually an abduction movement in the ankle, but let's not get technical. It's a, there's a rotation of the shin under the knee and then it will have an influence up in her hip as well. But essentially, it's, it's a differentiation kind of thing as opposed to the compression through the leg, which is very integrating. It's very connecting. This is a disconnecting, if you like, not dismantling. And then remember the coming back, and you can find the, the, the pathway, I'm just pulling through her big toe, to come back slowly so she gets the, the feeling of the leg coming back down without it. If I did it fast, can I do it fast? Are you feeling robust? That's not very nice at the end. Do you, you see that clunk? So that's not very nice. Is it very nice? Not hugely nice, so don't do it. I just did it to show you what not to do. So now that her leg's got that idea, um, finding how find, it's almost like the foot twisting. Oops, that's, I did it again, the naughty thing. It's almost like a key of finding a yeah, finding where, and it's quite an elusive key with her, like actually what I should do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it keeps coming and going anyway. Um, is that a, when her ang when her ankle tips? Can you see the relationship between what my right hand is doing and just tipping her leg out and feeling when it wants to come up? And it really is. You really have to feel for. And this this hand is uh, just there to catch the knee as it comes back. Um, quite a manoeuvre. If you try to force it, it it's just, there's no point because she'll just feel like her leg's an alien thing to her. Whereas what you want her to feel is that her, her leg's got this kind of rhythm. Um, and, it, and it's a bit of a, a turn and then a slide. And the foot, notice the trajectory of the foot. It doesn't, it, it can go straight up, but it's actually more in. That's the frog more towards the middle. Okay. All right, so that's all you're going to do. And then the person can stand up and feel how that is. So it's an exploration of getting more refined about the standing, finding the top of the hip joint on the standing leg, and then with the jiggling leg, which you've tested for, frogging and rocking the foot. Is that clear? Standing, bang, 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 jiggle, frog, rock, 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 stand. No, thing or whatever you're doing, or boing.